What's up to the people out there in the G-verse? It is freaking cold. It's 21 degrees in Georgia today. I didn't know I had heated mirrors until this morning. <laughs> Stuff was like coming off. Oh man, this is this is nice though. I like cold weather. I like the winter. But um, for many people, it's a financial winter. It's a really, really bad thing that's going on. I was reading an article about long the long-term unemployed, and it was just worse than I thought. I know. You know, you look at the unemployment numbers, 7%. They're really like 25%. And when you count, factor in the people who are under... Factor in the people who are underemployed, it's worse. It is really, really worse. And for the first time in the history of the United States, we have a large segment of people with degrees who are unemployed, underemployed. I'm talking about eight, 10 bucks an hour. And for some, they can't get that. And I was looking and I was looking and I was doing some research because this is one of the reasons that I created Hustler Food, the blog and Hustler University, because I feel, I truly, truly believe that this thing is going to get worse for the following reason, technological advancement. People who are great right now are going to be screwed by technology in a few years. And there's going to be this huge exodus of people out of the workforce into self-employment, hustling, entrepreneurship, whatever you want to call it, they're coming. And it's going to be a huge gaggle of people. I'm talking about unprecedented gaggle of people coming out. You think? Because people are going, well, it's bad now. It was, no, no, it's going to be worse. It's going to be much worse. If you don't believe me, check out the number of kids who have degrees, lawyers, whatever. Just Google the people. I have a degree. can't find a job. The numbers are higher than you being led to believe. But nevertheless, when I'm going to talk to you and I'm talking to the long-term unemployed or the marginally unemployed, your only path out of this, this is your only bet, is you. It's you. There's no one else. The Justice League is not coming to save your ass. Spider-Man's got a habit. It is you. You have to put on a cape and become your own personal superhero. Now, the good news after the bad news, because I'm going to give you more bad news. I feel like I should just really lay it all out for you before I just go ahead and uh, lift your spirits quickly. The deal is, what's going on? in our world that is hurting you can also help you. The same technology, the same disruption, the same things that are going on right now that are creating all of this angst, all of these flat pockets, is the same thing that can save you, that can take you to another level. Now what you have to do is wrap your mind around that a few facts. You may never retire like great granddad did. That, for many people, is out of the window for the fact that people are going to live to be 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. You're going to see people living that long because medicine is better. You're going to see people, there's going to be organ replacement. Your shit wear out, they're going to give you, you're going to be able to buy a new one. So, this whole thing about just sitting back at 55, 65 to do nothing, let that pipe dream go. Instead, think of a way that you can live the life that you want to live now. You know, it's possible. It's very, very possible that you can live the life that you want starting today, maybe within, um, you know, say six months to two years, depending on where you are, just how, fat, how far behind eight ball you may be. Because this is the thing, and this, this is it. These are truly beautiful, awesome, amazing times for those who are aware and understand how the game is played because this is my saying don't hate the player don't hate the game learn the fucking rules so you can win and this game is different actually it's two games there's this stuff out here in the real world and there's this internet game 
It's not a, the internet does not level the playing field. The internet is a completely indifferent playing field. That's why people who may do well in real world businesses suck on the internet, and there are people who do well on the internet suck in real life businesses because it's different skill sets, it's a different methodology, it's a different mindset. But I would say get your internet skills as robust as you possibly can. SEO should not be a foreign concept to you. A blog should not be a foreign concept to you because utilizing the internet and using these tools, and most of them are nothing. I mean, they are, they are like hella cheap. They are ridiculously cheap that you can get this stuff. So up your internet knowledge base, whatever that may be. If you like blogging, podcasting, whatever, you need to start doing something now. Even if you have a cushy, great job now, you, st you need to start doing something now. Now. Now, 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 now. Not tomorrow, not next year. Now. This week. This freaking week. You need to start doing stuff now. Because if you don't, you're going to live to regret it. I look back at the time I got laid off three times in 18 months as hell on earth. It was one of the most debilitating times for me fiscally, emotionally, spiritually, and even physically to a degree. And there are many people who are experiencing those hard times that I experienced right now, and they don't have a clue to how to make the bad times go away. The answer is entrepreneurship, self-employment. You will have to wrap your head around that. This is it, because I want you to understand Reddit, uh, Craigslist, other sites, you know, there's these companies that make millions. There are some companies that make billions. There's, there's companies out there making a billion dollars a year and they only have 100 employees. Do you understand how fucking amazing that is? It's scary if you're looking for a job, but if you are creating a job, if you're building that company, I mean, the, the converse is, if you're looking for a job, it's scary. But the other side of that is, if you are creating, you don't need as much in terms of resources, personnel, to build a robust, extremely crazy, profitable business. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Take advantage of the disruption. Don't become disruption roadkill. It's out there for anyone. And I just rebranded and uh, changed the name of my company from Conundrum uh, Publishing to Conundrum Media because it's more appropriate for all the things I do. But when I started, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I had no clue. It was learn, burn, earn. I learned, I burned, I fucked up, and I earned. You, you know, you, you, you cannot get caught up in that. If I don't hit it just right from inception, it's not worth. Let that pussy bullshit mindset go, dude. Go. You gonna get us both hit. Namby pamby little bitch here, in the intersection, waiting until the light is completely red and gonna turn slow. I know it's cold, people, but can you hold on to your steering wheel? Good gracious. Or as Pretty Kelly said, goodness gracious. That's crazy. Okay, back to the video. But essentially, it's up to you to learn the skills that you need to learn to improve your life. Now, with that, that's another reason I created Hustle University. Because uh, next month, toward the end of this month, we're going to get to what I call short-term hustles. These are not things that you will do forever and ever but say, I'm going to call it, I lost my job, what the fuck do I do plan? Because many people, as I was going over that article, they waited until their unemployment benefits ran out to really start panicking. I mean, they were like worried and things were tight. But when it's like, you're not about to get any more money, bitch. That's when they like, ah, I need to do something. No, the minute you went on unemployment was the minute you needed to do something. Since uh, 2010, I've been getting this email. I used to get it damn near every day. I don't get it every day. Went from every day to every other day to every week to now. It just comes randomly. So I read this article about the long-term unemployed. And then I get this email, and it always starts off the same. And they're very nice, and they're very, you know, humble and, hey, Glendon, and it's three to five paragraphs. Take me an hour to two hours of my life to properly answer it. And they're just like, what can I do to earn five to nine thousand dollars in the next 90 days? I just lost my job. Uh, the wife's going to kick me in the nuts if I don't get some money in here because she ain't fucking me now because she thinks I'm a loser. And I'm supposed to pull some magic jelly beans 
out of my ass and give you crucial knowledge. Also, sans remuneration. Yeah, there is no room in, renew. Oh, good Lord. There is no remuneration. Um, it is just simply, hey, help us get out of this jam and be a nice guy. Part of that is people are insanely uh, lazy. It's like you don't have a job. You need to cut the cable off like ASAP. If you're not making any money, you need to um, really go on that lean diet. Really, really lean diet. Quick as possible and make sure that your financial house is in order. Because what's happening with these people, as I was reading the article, is they wait until the last damn minute. The last minute, the house isn't on fire. The roof is gone. You can see the stars and everything up there. And... They're not really, it's like at that moment is when it hits. It's that moment is like, oh, fuck. So if you're long-term unemployed, and just depending on this, is this is year one, year two, year three, or year four, you've already had a lot of bad stuff happen to you. And I, I'm going to tell you, it may not be as bad as you think because you may be completely ass out. You may be on your relatives or your friend's sofa and your credit shot. <laughs> Everybody's calling you. Your cell phone's about to be turned off. You hit rock bottom. The good news is there's nowhere to go but up. I've been there. I'm talking hungry. You know, no money, no money for even ramen noodles. Just I got to go two, three days before I get paid so I can get some damn food. That type of hard times. People are going through that right now. They're going through that right now. And they think there's no hope because they're looking in the wrong direction. The whole thing with get a job for a life ended 20 years ago. Get a job in half of five to 10 years, it's starting to end now. You have to look at self-employment. You have to look at hustling. You have to look at start doing things you've never done before to make sure that you and your family can eat, have gas for the car. I mean, it's not gonna be easy if you've never done it before. It's not gonna be easy if you have been that type of person that has always depended upon a job to make money. But understand, like I said, Hustle University, short-term hustles. I'm going to start doing more of that stuff, being more in-depth. I've got people in my tribe. We've been doing the stuff and testing stuff out. And it's going to be even more testing coming in 2014 because you need to start building this foundation now. And I'll even give you a happenstance or you know a supposition of say you start a business you learn to manage your money because that's one of the uh, 50 laws of hustling manage your money your money's gonna manage you say you do this business it only lasts for five years but you make 2.9 million net you're out the game you're out the game house paid for even at four percent you're good and also going back to what i said about you know forgetting this notion about retiring if um, you start another business, and let's say it takes five years to take off, you still got your 2.9 million. You, you got this business because you learn how to make businesses without investing a lot of money. You start another business, and then that depends, start another one. I call it perpetual entrepreneurship, perpetual hustling. That's how I look at it. That's what I said. I'm not retiring. I'm doing this shit until, like, you know, I'm like, yo, look, I got a new body, arm. Yep, this bitch is strong. That's going to be me. You, you will see my ass on YouTube at 20, you know, it, depending on which direction YouTube goes. I'm looking at long-term hustling, not opportunistic hustling, which is what many people look at. Get in, get money, get out, do something else. Think of a long-term hustle. Think of some, because the thing is, just because your business doesn't take off in the first two, three, four years doesn't mean it's a bad business. It may just need time to mature for the public to go, ah, because, you know, Walmart, caught hell for years and we look at walmart they're catching hell but it's a different kind of hell so if you are a member of the long-term unemployed do this today link below the hustler's mindset pimp your mind for success audiobook it's free the only thing it's going to cost you is your time and if you ain't working you have a lot of that I'm not trying to make fun of it take advantage of it don't sit around bitching and whining and worrying about what other people think use your time wisely if you're unemployed, you're not making any money, you should be on the computer, in a library, your head should be in a book. No TV, no going out. No, I need a vacay. Cause, no, bitch, you ain't doing shit. You don't need a vacation. You need to up your fucking hustle. 
You won't need a vacation when you ain't doing shit. I'm stressed from doing nothing. How fucking ridiculous is that? It's, it's, it's patently ridiculous. If you are not making the money that you don't want to make, you shouldn't be watching television. You shouldn't be taking vacations. You shouldn't be charging shit on your credit card. You should be looking at every way possible for you to get as much income in your life as possible. You should be on full, what I call, you know, DEF CON 10. It's like, we got to make this happen or there won't be no more we. Shit's going to be over. So get the book, listen to it three or four times. And then if you are impressed with that, hit up Hustler University. I am going to charge you. I'm not that guy on the internet like, oh, it's free. No, no, shit's going to be hard. Shit's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, but it's going to be worth it. I'm like I said, I'm not going to tell you it's going to be easy. I'm going to tell you it's going to be hard. I'm going to tell you it's going to be worth it. Because when you come out on the other side of this shit, your self-confidence, your self-esteem, and your ability to provide for yourself and family, it goes up. So understand, it ain't all bad. The world has not ended, and you can make it through this, but you will have to work your ass off like you've never, ever done before. All right, this is Glendon. I'll see you on the good side, and be sure to check out my blog, Hustler's Food. Links below.